everyone, it's Cynthia, your host. Welcome back to today's show. I'm here to talk about the big announcement from Universal Studios on Tuesday, January 30th, all about Epic Universe. That's right, they finally announced the name of the lands, what's going to be there. It's a lot and it's exciting. So come on, let's jump into this right now. A lot of excitement has been building for the brand new theme park coming to Universal Studios in Florida in 2025. There's been talk that Epic Universe will change the way theme parks are run forever. It's so exciting to have a new theme park coming to like the theme park capital of the United States. Tuesday, January 30th was a great announcement. It tells us all about what we can expect to find in Epic Universe. And I am very excited to share this with you. I am going to be giving you information about the theme park itself, the hotels, and also food and other items that you can expect to find at this brand new theme park opening in 2025. And Universal has been famous for their storytelling, immersing you in the story. It looks like they're gonna continue to do that very thing with Epic Universe. Here at this park, you're gonna, going to have the sensation of being able to go into a portal that will transform you into five different worlds all throughout this park. So every time you're entering a new portal, you're entering this brand new world. It says here that the sun, moon and stars have aligned to create a transformational theme park with amazing portals taking you to worlds beyond. Starting in Celestial Park, the center of Epic Universe, and it is the first area that guests see when you arrive. It's listed as a world between worlds. I'm reading directly from the website where it says that Celestial Park is the cosmic heart of Epic Universe. We can find lush greenery, tree line walkways and dancing fountains in this area. Let's start with the attractions listed here in this land, Starfall Racer. This is a roller coaster race across the cosmos. It says here that you blaze through the skies of Celestial Park. This is a dual launch racing coaster that hurls you across the cosmos. Starfall Racers dual launch coaster will have guests going 62 miles per hour, and it also reaches a height of 133 feet with 1.8 miles of track. There is a minimum height requirement of 48 inches, and it does say child swap will be, will be available, and it says this type of ride is a thrilling ride. I'm really looking forward to that. Astronomica is an attraction that's located in the center of Celestial Park. This is an interactive wet play area and it's designed as a compass that will point to the portals and attractions all around Epic Universe. The next ride in this area is called Constellation Carousel. Here you can ride celestial lions, dragons, bears, and even more as the constellations themselves take physical form on this cosmic carousel. And what makes this carousel different is that each carriage turns 360 degrees while lifting the riders up to six feet in the air. There's also celestial music and dazzling colors to excite your senses as you whirl and twirl across the Milky Way. There is no height requirement for this ride, so this is like the amped up version of a carousel. This looks really fun. Let's talk about a dining venue that they have located here in Celestial Park. This is called Atlantic. Atlantic is listed as an undersea culinary fantasy. There are glass walls reminiscent of an enormous Victorian aquarium. There are decorative fish that line the ceiling and metallic curtains that shimmer as they sway, creating an illusion of being underwater in a massive aquarium. We're not quite sure of exactly what type of food will be served here. As it said, the menus will be, uh, details will be coming on that shortly. So we'll keep checking back to see exactly what type of food that they would serve here in the Atlantic. In this area, you will find the Nintendo Superstar Store. This is listed as a shopping store for apparel, gifts, collectibles, jewelry, toys, souvenirs, and sundries. Located just outside the portal entrance to Super Nintendo World. 
this entire store will be full of Nintendo toys and apparel. So if you are a Nintendo fan, this will definitely be the place to get your merch. Let's talk next about the Blue Dragon Pan-Asian Restaurant. Once again, it says details about the menus are coming soon, but of course it says Pan-Asian, so we can expect to find wonderful Asian food here at this location. This is a full service dining venue and it does have a bar, so alcoholic beverages will be available. Here you will find a bustling courtyard where it's always evening under the glow of lanterns. You can enjoy authentic Pan-Asian cuisine as neon dragons chase across the walls or, or curl up with a cocktail at the Tiger Bar. Now at the recording of this video, most of the details have only come out about Celestial Park. And if you take a look at the website, it's saying the other portals, they will have more information coming soon. So there's not as much information, but let's dig into it anyway. So let's move on to the Wizarding World of Harry Potter. Now, if you enter the portal of the Wiz Wizarding World of Harry Potter, Ministry of Magic, it says here from 1920s Paris, to the 1990s British ministry, you can explore international wizarding communities and the magic that connects them in the wizarding world of Harry Potter, Ministry of Magic. The next area and portal that we'll go into will take us to Super Nintendo World. Here you will experience a new way to play. You can challenge Bowser on the Mario Kart ride, and you can also venture through Donkey Kong Country, and it says, so much more. Our next portal is the How to Train Your Dragon, Isle of Burke. Here you can take to the skies and soar with dragons as you explore the colorful Viking village at the heart of Burke. You can take part in wild boat battles and feast like a Viking and much more. And then we'd move on to the fifth portal, um, Dark Universe. Here you will find experiments from the likes of Dr. Victoria Frankenstein to a shadowy landscape where monsters roam. Dark Universe is a world of myth and mystery. Now also listed here is the new hotel called the Universal Helios Grand Hotel. Taking a look, it says it has a dedicated and exclusive entrance into Epic Universe. It says here that you'll be transported to a fantastical world where heavens and earth unite in this full service hotel. Universal describes it as a divine escape with dazzling views of the park. This hotel will have 500 guest rooms. And taking a look at these renderings here in this picture, the video, it looks very upscale. I'm going to assume this will be like the luxury hotel for the theme park. It looks gorgeous. We have the Universal Stella Nova Resort. This 750 room hotel, it's a tranquil space for guests. It's inspired by the infinite vastness of our unknown universe. And then there is also the Universal Terra Luna Resort. This is described as a landing zone for relaxation and recharging in between your fun. This hotel also has 750 guest rooms, terrestrial tones, and sweeping curves. The Terra Luna and Stella Nova hotels are set to open in January 2021 of 2025 and February 25th of 2025, respectively. Universal Studios is saying that this will be a week-long adventure to come to the theme parks now that Epic Universe will be available, meaning they have four parks for your family. So there is Islands of Adventure, Universal Studios, there is the water park, which is called Volcano Bay. There will be Epic Universe and then City Walk. So there will be plenty to do that you can actually stay in the Universal Parks and have something to do for the whole week. So that's uh, an exciting plus for anybody traveling in to visit Universal Studios. Now, most of us are wanting to know when does the theme park open? And that's still a slight mystery. It says 2025 on the website. Previously, it said summer 2025. Now, if you take a look on the website, it just says 2025. So, so what does that mean? Does that mean before the summer or at the end? We're not quite sure, but I know we're going to keep looking to know next year when can we explore and take part in this new, wonderful and exciting park. 
If you are a theme park fan, you probably are really looking forward to a new park there in Central Florida. I know that I am. I think it'll be a fun addition to the theme parks there already in Orlando and something new and exciting for fans. I'm interested to know your thoughts. Let me know in the comments below if you're at all interested or excited about this new park and do you plan to go and are you planning to be one of the first to visit the park or stay at one of the beautiful new hotels? Well, thank you so much for spending time with me today so that I can share all of the information that we have so far about Universal's Epic Universe and go check out the website. There is some beautiful artwork, beautiful renderings and pictures that really can help you and a video that can help you really know a lot more about the park. On your way out, don't forget to pound down on that subscribe button and join the family. Thanks so much for joining us today and we'll catch you at the next adventure.